Hello, it's Roshin Curie here. You're very welcome to another flick through of my latest sketchbook. This one is from July 23. It's actually to November 23. But I was a bit over ambitious and it's got these nice stickers on the front because they were the first ones I made and I thought they looked really cool. I was thinking of making this book all about people, but in the end, I kind of just put anything in that took my fancy. Now, I love drawing people on the train and I really don't like to get caught. But this man was deep into his YouTube video or whatever it was. And he didn't notice me at all, which was kind of cool. I used super granulating colours for him and I really enjoyed doing that nice reflection in the window of the train behind him in the dark night sky, rushing past while everyone was nice and cosy. And here we are in Dunmore East in County Waterford. Now, these thatched cottages have been photographed about a zillion times, but actually they're not traditional, even though they look it. Literally back in onto the terrace of the hotel where I was staying, the Strand in Dunmore East in County Waterford. It's really nice because it just opens out onto the sea. And one evening I was sitting there having a something or other, bowl of mussels, I think. And these guys hopped onto their paddle boards and took to the water. And I recognised them from the bar. They were just two of the barmen. And they were obviously mates. And they just hopped on to their paddle boards and took off after work. Which was such a nice thing to see. One of the nice things I did with the students was to show them how a sketch can be full of interest just with two colours. And in this sketch I've used Payne's Grey, that dark bluey grey and burnt umber and that's it and with those two colours you can do a lot with light and values and all kinds of good stuff well this one was from an instagram live one evening um, and sometimes I'm a, bit, I'm a bit stumped for something to draw so this day i just drew the back of a packet of banana chips from the asian supermarket and alongside that i drew um, a jug and a couple of my very cute utensils that my mom gave me from Nice. And I really enjoyed painting them just in oranges and brown. Well, I love drawing my family. And this is my son, Paddy, sitting on the sofa and watching a comedian on the YouTube. I think he's called Mark Normand. And he was very outrageous and very funny indeed. And Paddy's a great subject because he doesn't move at all. And then about a day later, he was playing poker with his sister um, and of course, gambling is something I do not condone, but it was really nice to just ignore that particular factoid and draw my kids. Having a good time. You can just about see the dog under the table there if you look closely. My husband is a great subject to draw as well because come the evening time, he does like to just chill out on the sofa. Now, this isn't the best drawing I did of him. This is my sketch pocket. It's one of my earlier ones. There's been a few changes since then, but I really liked painting the bottles beside it. They went kind of well with them. Another one of my husband's because I just didn't feel I got the first one right. And this one's kind of nice because it says my better half. Another one of Paddy doing a bit of work from home. Very much enjoyed doing that drawing with the, the peak of the red baseball cap. And my youngest sitting strewn all over the sofa. Um, we we're watching Lansky, which isn't that good. It wouldn't bother. Now, I also love to sit in the back of the car and sketch the driver because they're not going anywhere. You can take your time and they're not moving at all. So, in fact, that's actually a great way to get into drawing people from life. You get to draw little bits of the car as well. So it's very fun. Now, this one is from a workshop I was given in person in Galway in August to a really nice group. I had a great time and I was demonstrating shines and coffee and ceramics. And this guy here in the middle that you can see, he was sculling a pint in one go. And I use this as an example to say, draw verbs, not nouns, which is my way of saying, draw kind of fast, give it a bit of action. Another one of the wonderful model that is my husband sitting in a very nice shirt with a fabulous design on it a beautiful and almost intact crab picked up from the beach near my home i'm still not quite done with it there's a space there that needs filling in my mum and i traveled to pompeii in september and i'm going to say the less said about that sketch the better this one i did a little bit better this is in herculaneum near pompeii and it shows the Thermophilum, thermophilum, 
um, which is where I suppose they call it the fast food joints of the, the Romans, where food went into the amphora and was served to people in a hurry. This is a small demo from another in-person workshop, this time in Dublin, um, where I demonstrated a few techniques. I rather like this next one. On the left, we have a beautiful street lamp um, and at the bottom, it's surrounded by three mer horses. My students and I did a fun thing for Halloween. I got them to draw the ruin near my home in Kilcolgan and then it's it's a bit ghoulish. So for Halloween, we did this thing where they drew kind of scary things to go with it. Once more in Dublin on the left and a demo of a technique where you do watercolour first and you can wash it away if it hasn't gone right. And on the right hand side, we've got some very annoying whippersnappers vaping on the train putting poor old Roe here in a really bad mood, such that I had to sketch them to kind of distract myself from how annoyed I was by their youthful and giddy antics. Back in Dublin again, and this time I was sitting in the Natural History Museum, which I love. And it is a display of some sharks, which was so cool. That one on the top right, I thought it was... Um, kind of like a stumpy shark, but it was a shark that was cut in half. And having finished the young whippersnappers vaping, my attention was turned to the gent on the table right next to me um, on the train from Galway to Dublin. And he was from Belfast and he was full of political opinions and opinions on life. And actually, he was a nice man, but he was chewing the ear off the poor lady opposite him. And she looked to be very annoyed but then I soon realised that actually she was enjoying it and she threw in her top and say Pennyworth as well which was kind of nice and only underlined to me not for the first time that I'm probably one of the most neurotic people I've ever met. And on the right we have the statue of the Provost George Salmon that you can see in the grounds of Trinity College in Dublin who famously said that women would enter Trinity College over his dead body which came to pass when he died in 1905. And nearby on the green area outside the Trinity College library I did a whole bunch of people sitting around in the sun as a little demo for my students. I like this couple embracing. I wasn't quite quick enough to capture them, but I liked it all the same. Now, this fellow lying out on the grass, he got drawn twice in the end because he made a great subject and he was completely oblivious to me sketching. Now, this one's kind of significant because these two buildings, believe it or not, they were built in the same year of 1789. And on the left, we have Tyrone House, which is just up the road from me in Kilcolgan in County Galway. And it is the place that I was inspired to sketch with my students and then to turn into a ghoulish Halloween fest. And the one on the right is Foster's Place in Dublin City Centre, a beautiful Georgian building that is in fact still in daily use as the Dublin Stock Exchange. And back across the country, 150 miles to Galway City. And one of my favourite restaurants is called Ember and it does the most delicious barbecued food. And you can see there, there's some Spanish girls sitting outside and they're laughing and going, ha ha ha, because that's what Spanish girls say. And it's written with a J. And then I figured I'd draw the coffee cup that I was drinking from Coffee Verk and Press. And I enjoyed that. It was fun. Now, a few days after that, I did something that was less fun. This is the flaggy shore in County Clare. Um, and do you know what? The tide was rising so fast, I could not draw fast enough. And I was generally in a very bad mood. And then it transpired that I had COVID brewing. Um, but I before I left that day, I did this drawing of Lenan's pub just up the road, which is a gorgeous place. It's a restaurant, really. And you can get fantastic seafood there. But I didn't know it. I was brewing a fever and it wasn't good. My lovely husband brought, bought me these lovely lilies. I brought them into my sick room and I painted them from my sick bed. And then I wasn't quite done with them. So I did them again. So all in all, I really had not an unpleasant bout with COVID that time. Now, the autumn colours this year were absolutely astonishing. So I went into Galway City and I drew these beautiful orange trees right on the banks of the Carab River. That's the Cladda Basin. And you can see that red and blue barge making a beautiful contrast to the orange leaves of the trees. On the other side of the street from me, there was a kind of a crusty juggler type loping along with two collies who weren't on leads. And they were kind of messing about 
almost in the traffic and he shouts, hey, 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 there's walking cars. As if the dogs were his actual children, which was kind of sweet in itself, but you'd think he'd put a lead in them. And then he wouldn't have to worry about their safety. So that brings us to an end of this little sketchbook. And I hope you've really enjoyed sharing my last, I suppose, five or six months with me as much as I've enjoyed showing you. Now, if you really love what I do, there's nothing to stop you joining in. You can come and join me in my classes that are online and live once a week, every week. They're on Saturdays, three o'clock in the afternoon, Irish time, UK time. That's four o'clock in the afternoon for Central Europe and 10 o'clock in the morning in Eastern time in the US. You can buy a class singly or you can join up as a member, which is really good value. It's just €14.95 Euros a month for four live classes. That's about $16.30. So that's not bad. If you'd like to jump in before you commit to anything, why don't you go over to my website and try one of my free classes? Meanwhile, enjoy my YouTubes. Have a good look around. And maybe you'd like to join us someday and I'd love to get to know you. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you keep up to date with all my lovely sketching videos.